This is our WSP introduction video. Our subject is Sun, Earth, and Moon Relationships. Uh, and I'm I'm Andrew Chow. I'm partnered with Emily Blaylock, Timothy Malone, and Caleb Gleason. So, uh, how will this lesson be tied to our study of prehistoric astronomy this year? This lesson will tie the study of prehistoric astronomy because the eclipses have been happening for millions of years, but because of technology, we are able to learn more about them now. Throughout history, many astronomers have wondered what what they were, but now we are able to figure out uh, figure out what they are, but also how they form. How will our lesson help dual language learners with their Spanish speaking skills? Uh, by in by implementing the use of the Spanish language in the lesson, we will be be making it easier for native Spanish speakers to comprehend the lesson, and we'll also introduce some new words to the students learning Spanish that they might not have come across in the original curriculum. Uh, so the procedures for the students in this activity are uh, each student will uh, need to search up a white page on their iPad. This will represent the sun. Uh, they'll also need something that can cover up most of the iPad uh, that light won't pass through. This will represent the moon. Uh, the teacher will turn off the lights or make the room as dark as possible, making it look like nighttime. The students will put the iPad next to the right side of their face, representing the Earth, causing the the right side of their face to be lit. Then taking the then taking the their object, they will place it between their iPad and their face, creating darkness on their face, thus becoming a solar eclipse. If having every student uh, do this is too chaotic, the teacher uh, can simply take a flashlight, whether real or on their phone, and a quarter. Uh, the teacher's face will represent the earth, and the flashlight will be the sun, and the quarter will act as the moon. The teacher will make the room as dark as possible, make it seem like night, and, and then they will shine the flashlight to the right side of their face, making it more lit than the left side. Then the teacher will take the quarter and place it in front of the flashlight, resembling the moon, blocking the sun from hitting the earth, thus creating a real-life solar eclipse, in order to give the students a visual of what a solar eclipse looks like. Uh, how will this lesson keep uh, the learners engaged? Uh, uh, in order to keep them engaged, uh, this lesson is very hands-on, but it also uh, keeps them socially distanced, and the students at home will also be able to participate in it. Uh, by seeing a visual representation, representation of what they're learning, they will be more inclined to understand the material instead of just listening to a lecture or watching a video. Um, what will they learn from our activity? Uh, they'll learn about the different types of eclipses and their effect on the Earth. And then how will we assess their understanding? After the presentation to the class, we can assess the learner's understanding by having them join a quiz or Kahoot game. This will be a fun way for the students to show what they have learned.